going in the fog on the way to the fishing show, Fisherville, Virginia. Got my buddy Scott in the car with me. Beware the fog! <laughs> We're already out of it. What's up guys, girls, ladies, gentlemen? Welcome to another episode of Scott Howard Outdoors. Today, got a special treat for you. I'm actually out here in Fishersville, Virginia for the uh, Augusta County Fishing Expo. My first time I actually out here at the show, I was invited by my new fishing partner and club uh, partner, Scott Favors. Actually, we're sitting out here right now in front of him right now. We're getting ready to go on in. Uh, a couple people that are going to be in there that we know. We know Ron Weimer, the guys from uh, from RBT Custom Banks. They're going to be in there. Got my buddy uh, from Bravo Bass, and he's going to be there at the kayak booth. So let's go on inside and see what we come up with. Let's meet some of these people and take a look around, and uh, we'll go from there. So we'll see you inside. All right, guys, we're heading on in. Hello, guys. How you doing? Hey, man. All right. Let's go ahead and quick tour around, see what we got going on here. Now, this is good. This show is a lot smaller than what you guys are used to on the Richmond show. There's Gunny. What's up, Gunny? I was just telling everybody, this is a lot smaller than the Richmond show, for yeah, sure. Yeah, it is, for sure. So, well, actually, you know why I got you here? To introduce you guys, this is Scott Favors. He's going to be actually my new partner for fishing this year. You've seen him in my, some of my other videos, but he's sponsored no by... No partial, you forgot the... The what? I'm partial for what? No, partially in a video. You forgot the battery. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, that's right. The, well, you did see a piece of that video when we were on the Potomac. <laughs> but actually... He's sponsored by Kipper Sticks, which you see right over there. You want to tell me a little bit about Kipper Sticks real quick, or you want to walk over there real yeah, quick? Yeah, we can walk All over right. there. All right. I, I, I got him working. He's not even supposed to be working today. <laughs> Kipper Sticks is a custom rod builder. Uh, we use all rain shadow blanks from the Bastion Corporation out in the state of Washington. Uh, all our blanks are individually wrapped, and our handles are identical to us because we use double diff or a double cork handle. Uh, Two different corks. One's a little bit more dense than the other one is, so it gives you a little bit better feel. And they're custom built. The difference between a custom built rod and one you buy off the shelf is you can have it built how you want. That's good. If you That's want good. it six. If you want it six foot three and a half, you can have it built that way for a specific technique. Also, custom built rods are spline problems. Most rods that come from a manufacturer where they make thousands of them, they're not on the spline. When graphite's rolled, it has a spline to it. That's the strongest point of that rod. Okay, okay. That's where you want your eyes to sit at. Okay. Because it's the strongest point of the line. When you go into Bass Pro Shop, if you find one of those rods that's spline properly, you got lucky. Okay. Because they build them too fast. And they you said the time you said they're hand, handmade, so they're going to do them that way. The blanks are, that we buy the blank and then they're hand built. Okay. We don't roll the blanks. We actually buy the blanks and we build them. Okay. We don't use Fuji eyes. We use stainless steel eyes. Uh, they're very sensitive and very, very corrosion resistant. Uh, fishing the Potomac, you know, mm -hmm. yep. if you don't have stainless steel eyes, the salt water salt will eat your eyes. Exactly. It's it's gonna the same thing with the real right. So we do not. We use stainless steel on all our on all our eyes and our rocks. Uh, you can find us on uh, Facebook. Okay. You can find us, I don't think the website's been set down, but you can uh, Google Kipper Sticks. Okay. And you, and you guys can reach out to me. Like I said, he's going to be my fishing partner yep. this year, so uh, we'll, 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 we'll get you on. So yep. I might even try one myself, so we'll see. Yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you, that new blue and that new cobalt blue, that's a pretty rod right there. <laughs> what, about, what about that pink one? Let me get that pink one. You can try that pink one. You can bring in the boat. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Thanks, Scott. I appreciate it. All we're right, going to keep walking around and see what we got coming over here. But yeah, I'll go ahead and show you some of these real quick. Um, you see the prices are not actually bad for a hand blade rod. 129 159 bucks that's actually a pretty good price here's what i'm talking about about the different cork handle you see you have a regular standard cork that you find on most rods and then you have a burled cork okay this burled cork is more dense it's it's so it's harder it's harder it transmits vibration better okay okay i like a cork handle we do have the wing grip handles Okay, we can build the wing grip handles. That's, we the, can that's, build the, that's it. the regular EVA yeah. foam, right? No, that's the wing grip. Okay. And then you have an EVA foam, which I think we're out of the EVA foam. We are. We sold out of it. Now we we have one. That's oh, yeah, yeah, that's foam. a little softer. Yeah, okay. okay. And then we have the wing grip. I'm a traditionalist. I like cork. Cork, cork. Because 
it's dense, it transmits energy. Energy mm. is how you feel with a rod. Exactly, and that's something that's why you know the rods all went to the I like to the, I like the to grass because it, it is harder, and it, I think uh, even though you can still feel good with these handles, I, I like the cork because it's denser and gives you a better feel. See, we're learning something new every day, guys. Awesome. Thanks a lot, Scott. Yep. I appreciate it, buddy. And like I said, you'll be seeing more of him out on the tournament trail with me every week, every time we fish. My new fishing partner, George, you know, he's off doing sailing stuff. In the so, kitty. Uh, yep, he's doing it in the kids. So, uh, in the kitty. <laughs> the past kitty. The past kitty, that's right. Yeah, guys, so this is a smaller show, for real. But it's pretty cool, though. Pretty cool to see just a little grassroots stuff around here. So I'm going to go ahead and take a walk over here to, uh, to Ron Wormer. He's the, the folks, the guys that uh, sell the RBT Custom Crank Bakes. He's got his booth out here. He's got a bunch of people standing out here right now, but uh, we'll see what we can come up with. There he is right there, the man, the myth. Mr. Ron Wormer, how you doing, the buddy? Man, good, good. Got you in here. The man, the myth, the, the man, the myth, the legend. So I kind of want to just talk to you real quick about your, your crankbaits here. As you guys know, I've been using his now for the last couple of years and caught a couple of my PVs on him. And kinda, this is my first time actually getting a chance to meet him. So it's a pleasure to meet you, sir. Oh, same awesome here. here. So just tell me a little bit about your business and what you got going on here. Well, we're from Western Maryland, Crossburg, Maryland, and uh, we custom paint top water, crank baits, jerk baits, anything that you need custom painted. We have a lot of our own collars. Uh, we pour the lead, we do hair spinner baits, and just about anything you need. And I can attest to them, guys. His, his baits caught, catch fish. It's, they're, they're awesome. They're beautiful. I'll go ahead and show you guys some as we walk around here. But how can we get a hold of you? How can we buy some of uh, these baits? You can just get a hold of me on Facebook. Send me a message. If you have a special collar that you want, just send me a picture and we can paint it. And I, someone told me that you actually paint old crankbaits too. If you, if oh, you have absolutely. some old stuff you want to yeah. have refurbished, you can get that done as well? Yeah, they're $10 a piece and take the hooks and the split rings off. Okay. <laughs> and uh, we'll repaint them and ship them right back to you. I got some old stuff from Florida, some of my old Nip and Dee Dee's and stuff that might need oh, to yeah. have some uh, paint done onto it. And so. don't forget to get a picture of that big rig sitting over there. That fellow won that boat on uh, yes. an RBT crankbait. Yes, that was, uh, that was, what was that? What tournament was that? That was the... Uh, Big, big bass champion. The big yeah. yeah, big bass in Smith Lake, right? Yep. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. On an so, RBT. Uh, uh, last I, year we had just last year we had six guys win Angler of the Year in their clubs. And one's going to the National Kayak Championship. So yeah, they're well proven baits. They are. And the year before. Well, and Scott can attest to this. I've won a couple of club tournaments on these baits. I've won Angler of the Year. On that's them. right. So, so yeah. <laughs> this is. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm honored to be uh, not not officially affiliated affiliated with them, but I, I, I use their baits all the time, and, and this is this is a great company to deal with. So another thing I want to do real quick too is I want to go ahead and do a giveaway. Uh, okay. I, haven't, I haven't done a giveaway yet on this channel, so I think it'd be fitting to do my first giveaway to actually give away some RBT crankbaits, which is you know my favorite lure to fish. So. I think I'm gonna go ahead. What do you think, Ronnie? You think I should grab one of these kits? Get one of those over rivers. here. Yeah, get a river. I'll tell you what. I'm gonna have you pick out uh, uh, one of these kits, and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and give it away on the channel when I hit. Uh, let's, let's say I'll, I'll get some more details on it. But I think when I hit 400 subscribers, I'm gonna go ahead and give a kit away uh, from RBT Customs. Yeah, these. And then we'll uh, go from there. So what do you think? You can't really go wrong with any of these. Uh, the good thing about this is they come in their own little case. It's a $25 value. You, if you're a kayak fisherman, you can stick it in your kayak or you can stick it in your back pocket and walk right down the river and probably catch one of your personal best with one of these. There you go. All right, so that's what we're gonna do. So, so look out for the details and I'll go ahead and put the, the details in the description below. I'm gonna go ahead and pick up maybe a couple of these out and I'm gonna go ahead and give one away on the channel when I hit 400 subscribers. So stay tuned for that. Actually, so I'm gonna have Ron go ahead and show me some of the stuff that he's, uh, we looked at, we, we kind of covered over by how the baits started and how you get a hold of them, but go ahead and show me some of your actual stuff here. All right, well, here's one bait that you probably won't see any place else is uh, a hair spinner bait. Everyone makes a rubber spinner bait, but rubber don't have the action that hair does. If you swim this through and then kill it, this thing just blows up and, and has so much more action than what a rubber a rubber skirted spinner bait does. Awesome. Uh, they're, they got a short shank on them so they'll go through the weeds better, through the grass, the brush. 
But uh, yeah, that that's a that's a fish catching machine right there. No, and I, you know me, I love my spinner baits. Oh, I love my spinner baits. What else you got, Ron? Go ahead and take us around. See what you got. The your main, what's your main sellers here? We got a bunch of uh, crankbaits here. One point fives, two point fives, wiggle warts. Uh, if you're down fishing the river and you're after the smallmouth, you probably want to throw you one of these. Look at that. Uh, Beautiful. These guys here will catch any smallmouth in the river. Uh, That's what in the Potomac? Or, uh, or the Chick. The Chick. The James. Uh, we send a lot of these down to the James River. And uh, over here we got a bunch of jerk baits. All right. We carry the long build jerk bait and the short build jerk bait. Uh, several different collars. Anything that you're looking for, some of these. This here is a big seller. This is this is a ghost bluegill perch, whatever you want to call it. But yeah, they're straight up. They do really well. That's a big seller. And then you carry. We hand build these right alongside of our spinner baits. These are called the RBT Roadrunner. Uh, top water buzz bait, seven dollars. Uh, there again, you get you get that pulsating. You can put rubber on the back of these if you want. Uh, they've won a lot of tournaments for top water. That's awesome. Uh, we also make the RBT crank and frog. You never see this. And this thing is out. awesome right here. I actually have a couple of these, and I can attest these things do catch fish. Uh, this is an RBT crank and frog. This thing will float. Or if you crank it fast, not real fast, it'll go down a foot and stay right across the top of your grass line mm -hmm. and it'll bring them big fish up out of the grass. Uh, we carry them in four different colors, green, yellow, green, yellow, black, brown, and pink. That's awesome. We also have... They also take my... I mean, like you go to Gunnersville, you've got one that you'll never see anyplace else. This is an RBT sewer rat. Now that's a neat looking bait right there, Ron. Thanks. It, it, it's a it's a top water wake bait, and it's got the interchangeable tails. You can put whatever collar worm you want on the back. It's it's got a spring in it. Uh, but yeah, they they'll catch some serious fish. That's crazy. Man, so it's, uh, this is, I mean, this is amazing. You walk through here and you just see he's got every type of bait you can think of as far as the crankbait is concerned. Top water, deep Here's divers, there you go. Big top water sours. It's like uh, a Sammy bait, right? Yeah. They, they, everyone <laughs> says I ain't throwing pink because I'm too big and tough yeah. to throw pink. <laughs> that's right, that's right. But pink is the collar. Uh, but we have, as you can see, we got several different collars on here. We also carry the pencil poppers. And there again, there's that that ghost gill. Uh, we got that. The shad collars. Awesome. But uh, yeah, we have several. What about these? Uh, I see these spin swim baits over here on the uh, on the table. Tell us about these guys. <coughs> yeah, these swim baits. They I carry two different kinds. Of course, you can get. You can get one that has four brakes in it, or you can get one that has one brake in it. Of course, the one brake is going to have a lot more tighter wobble, but the one with four brakes in it has a wide. Yeah, there you yeah, go. Yeah, it'll it'll have a wide wobble. Right. Uh, that'll it, that'll as that's clacking together, that will bring fish up from the bottom. Now these these guys sink to about. 14 inches and then they just come through the water so they're suspending yes okay absolutely and then over here of course this is another one of our crankbaits that you won't see no place else uh, everybody likes the bluegill crankbait so they tie this on and and throw the bluegill out but then as they're fishing they're thinking hmm, I should have tied a perch on so now they got the best of both <laughs> look worlds. at that magic guys look perch bluegill awesome <laughs> that's pretty good I, I think i have to pick one of those up myself ryan oh, I'm, yeah, I'm they, have to try you better get them because they're going quick. they're going pretty fast yeah wow 
Well, Ron, again, I appreciate you taking the time out and showing us all this stuff. And, and like I said earlier, I'm going to go ahead and do a giveaway on one of these uh, RBT uh, little little kits here. So take, take a look, you know, keep looking out for that. And we're here soon. So thanks again, Ron. I appreciate it, buddy. Sure thing. Thank you. All right. Just like what Ron was saying. Actually, this boat was actually won on a uh, using RBT Custom Bank. Randy Fainbank, Stewart Draft, Virginia. This boat right here was won using an RBT. So, it's like Ron was saying, RBT is a great company. I'm glad to be affiliated with them. They're just awesome stuff. So, definitely go check them out. You know, it's your little fishing. So, this is your fishing buddy? Yeah, this is my fishing buddy. That's awesome. She likes to catch yeah. fish. You said her name was Baby, right? Baby. Okay. All right, Baby. We're going to go. Say bye. Go out there and catch some more fish. <laughs> Thank you. All right, guys, I'm gonna walk over here to the uh, Bob's Outfitters real quick. Got my buddy that works over here, Jeff. He's actually uh, works over here, and he's uh, sponsored by by Vibe, which is one of the kayaks as you guys know. I've been looking to possibly get. So, Jeff, what's going on, buddy? Hey, what's up? Oh, by the way, he also has a YouTube channel, Bravo Bass. I'll let him tell you all about that. So, uh, so what are you going on, man? Let's go tell us, tell us a little bit about these Vibe kayaks. Oh well, first of all, I'm I'm sponsored by Bob, not actually Vibe. Oh, okay. Sorry so, about that. Um, so we actually do all these kayaks right now. Bob sells all these kayaks, but okay. I actually fish out of a Vibe Seagulls 110 and a Vibe Seagulls 130, and this is actually my 110 that I have here, and um, they're super phenomenal, phenomenal. Kayaks. Um, really enjoy them. The difference between the 110 and the 130 is the 110 is 11 foot long, the 130 is 13 feet long um basically get a little more length on the front and the rear um, and these are beautiful kayaks guys I, I know a bunch of guys have been using these vibes and they're and they're and they're awesome so uh, i'm probably gonna be in one in one of these he's yeah, just trying to get Scott, me into one Scott, scott's interested and i keep telling him he needs to come out and and take out both of them and see which one he likes the best um, and there might actually be a video with us doing that yeah, so we'll see gonna, so yeah yeah but, yeah if you guys are interested in a really good kayak at a really good price point we can't beat the vibes. They come stocked with a paddle. They come with a rudder system. Um, they come with dry bags. If you check in here, they already have the dry bags inside. You got one in the, the front, and then you have another dry bag back here in the rear. Back here. There you go. There so, you go. Um, and that's a big bonus because a lot of kayaks don't come with those dry bags, and you have to buy those extra. And then for those of you guys that love to run electronics, you got. All these place to mount electronics, and you got place to stuff your battery, and you can actually get your battery in here and have all this extra space for whatever you want to stick in there. You want to hey, put your beer in there. You want to put there it. you go. Hey, so uh, so you know so you know I run a big bass boat. Actually, Jeff actually used to fish out of a bass boat, and I just talked to a bunch of guys actually on the floor here, and they said they've sold their bass boats to fish solely out of kayaks. But for us bass boat bass boat fishermen that are always worried about rod storage, go ahead and show what you're showing oh, about yeah, how you can put that inside like that. We're gonna take this. This is a seven foot rod. Um, seven foot thing with phenom, by the way. Yep. Um, check them out. There you go. Fishing.com. But you can actually take your rod, pull this out, and you got all this storage in here. And you can actually shove this rod. Now I recommend doing this with rod sleeves yes, on, by the way. Yes, yes. Do, do rod sleeves, don't do this. Good thing I'm sponsored by yeah, all posts that by Enigma so I can get <laughs> new ones. But you can drop it in there and you can fit six rods. Look you at probably that. you can probably fit eight in there. But I would say six comfortably and safely, and you can fit up to probably a seven five in there. Yeah, so there you go, guys. So you know us, you know we're all we're all real crazy about keeping our rods in our rod lockers. We got them in a kayak now too, so that is awesome. And what's really awesome, awesome is that these kayaks are stable enough that when you're on it, if you don't want to have your rods out and you want to have some extra ones in there for backups, you can have them in there. You can actually. Mm -hmm crawl across this and reach in there and literally pull it out. You can kneel across here and just pull your rod out just as easy and you'll, you'll be standing here kind of like this and you can just get your rod like in the front, right? Yeah, again, like I said, you'll, you'll normally have them in your, in your, uh, in your rod sleeve. gloves. But, uh, but you yeah. can get it out while you're on the boat is what I'm saying. That is awesome. And you can get it out on there. And, and you know, most of the time I fish with usually four rods, but a lot of guys will throw six on there. Um, you got plenty of room to do that. Um, I usually throw one in the rod holder, I have one on the deck and a few on the back, and that works really good. But it's really cool is they already come, if you don't have a crate, you don't need it because you already got... Yep, so rod rod was in the back here, yep. And if you guys look at that little bona fide SS-107, you'll notice they don't have rod holders. Yeah, so this is the, so this is the bona fide, uh, and I apologize for saying that, like I said, yeah, Jeff is actually sponsored by 
Bob's outfit is not vibe. So he his he actually does you know. Vibe hit me up though. Put yeah. Me down. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, they do. So yeah. So while we had it, so go ahead and tell me a little bit about Bob. What, what is Bob? Right, so about? Bob is a, an outfitting um, business, and they actually have two stores. One in Amherst, and one is down. They just opened up a new one over um, right near Smith Mountain Lake. And he sells kayaks and fishing gear. If you guys look around, he sells rods, reels, um, tackle. Anything you need, he sells all the accessories and everything you need for kayaks. He sells, I mean, he's got bona fides, he's got um, vibes, he's got crescent, he's got, um, uh, there's a new one that just came out, I uh, um, can't remember, Ascend. Um, just, he's, he sells kayaks for all kinds of different awesome, companies. And he's awesome. got tons of stuff, so um, definitely check him out. Um, you can check him out online, www.bobdubbecreekoutfitters.com. He's on Facebook, he's on Instagram, he's on Twitter. Um, Super great company, great guy. We'll hook you up. And right now they're doing a deal. Vibe is doing a deal. Just so you know, that their 2008 kayaks, 100 bucks off. That's pretty really awesome. So I might. Well, I, I'm probably gonna go to 2019 one. But right. Yeah. <laughs> but so uh, yeah, he's he's I'm definitely gonna be hooking up with him here in the future, doing some videos with him. And uh, I, I've been wanting you guys to know I've been wanting to pull a trigger on a on a kayak here soon, and I think I'm gonna end up doing it. So. Uh, Jeff, I appreciate that. Tell me a little bit about your channel real quick. This is Bravo Bassin. Yeah, Bravo Bassin. You can check me out on YouTube. You can check me out on Facebook. You can check me out on Instagram. You can check me out on Twitter. It's all Bravo Bassin. Same thing. Um, get out there and fish. If you guys live anywhere in the local area of Virginia, near me or Scott, give me a holler, shoot me a message on Instagram, whatever, and I'll be happy to take you out on a kayak or out on a boat and do some fishing. That's awesome. And uh, like I said, you guys are going to probably see some videos coming out with, with this guy hanging out. We're going to do some uh, collabs together and uh, get some fishing in. So, Jeff, I appreciate it, buddy. Hey, Thanks man. a lot, man. Yeah. And yeah, we'll be seeing you. Seeing you man. All right, we'll man. See you good. Soon good. Guys, we're still just walking around here, as you see. They even got some seminars going on here. A couple little seminars going on right here. I'm kind of digging this nice little show like this. You know, the, as I keep saying, I know the Richmond show is a big show and it's, you know, a lot of hustle and bustle. This show is more personal. You can just walk around. It kind of seems like everybody kind of knows each other. Real cool. I like it. So we got some. What do we got going on over here? Look, got any, it looks like we got a fisherman flea market going on here. Yep. Over there. Kind of old here. stuff. Shoot us. Man. Made in Easley, South Carolina. Wow. Ain't seen them for years. Some good old stuff here. We have to go. We have to go rummaging through this stuff here. See what we got going on here. It's like going back in time some of these places. <gasps> Dipsy Diver. Don't be offended if you find Patterson down there older than me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I imagine so. It ain't quite older than me, but it's pretty close. Let's see what else we can find over here. Buy some lures and you get some banana bread at the same time. No, all the bread sold except for I think one loaf. And brownies went first and homemade blueberry muffins from this morning. Awesome. Got some local guide services here on the Chickahominy. How you doing? We're actually going to be on the Chickahominy on the 30th of this month. Oh, awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Doing some fishing on the Chickahominy River. So, nice. Unfortunately, we're not allowed to get a guide service, but <laughs> but after the fact, we might. That's definitely sure, for sure. Look, a fellow low guy here. It's a catfish boat, another RBT Customs. All right, guys, I'm over here at the Bass Daddy Custom Baits. These guys do local custom soft plastics. Come in, tell me about them real quick. What do you got going on over here? Yes, sir. We we make them. We hand pour them. I've got them in uh, three stores in Winchester, and I have one store down around Williamsburg. We've done pretty well here today. Okay, what do you guys specialize? It looks like a lot of the stuff I see here looks like it's a lot of finesse type stuff here. Yes, a lot of finesse type stuff. Uh, we do a really good Helger mite. They've been selling today pretty well. Oh, that's nice. Uh, we do, some, I see some, some Senko style baits yep. here. 
all hand poured. Wow, they're wow, they're soft, really soft. I mean, we, really. We have a special formulated plastic that we use. Okay. For us. Now are these all floating? Are they floating? Or are they? We can make it either way. Okay. Cool. Here you go, guys. I'll give good colors here. Tubes. You got some tubes. VA Top 100, you guys have some guys that fish that? Okay. Yes, yeah, I know a bunch of guys on that tour. Yep. Yeah, yeah these looks good, like drop shot type worms here. Where do you find you guys at? Where, how can we check them out if you want to go buy them online? Can you buy them online? or Right now, we're in the process of setting up a website, okay. but you can go on Facebook and just... Just Big Daddy Custom Baits? Yes, or Bass Daddy Custom Baits, yes. Sounds good. I'll go ahead and link the description down in the below so that way you guys can go check them out. So thanks a lot, guys. I appreciate it. Thank you. All right, have a good one, guys. Right. More stuff. Sturgeon Creek Marina. There's Taylor. What's going on, buddy? Everything. Everything must go. What are you selling? Are you selling everything? Everything. I'm selling the cash register. This is the best part right here. Buy whatever you want out of this pile right here. In case you guys don't know, my buddy Taylor, he's in our club, fishes with us. Hollywood, yeah. Yeah, come on. Yeah. Tell, us, well, tell, tell me what you do. As little as possible. <laughs> I'm just counting the minutes. Until counting the minutes. There, yeah. there you go. There you go. That's it. He's the, he's, this guy's the go-to guy for Lake Anna. I'll tell you what, he's giving away some of his secrets, but I'm sure he's got many more. I'll teach you everything you know, but I'm not going to teach you everything I know. Exactly. That's it right there. There's some of the pictures here they got from some of their tournament series here in uh, Sturgeon Creek. Sturgeon Creek is where we actually launch most of the time from our... Actually, that's where we launch all the time for our tournaments that we do out there. We're going in, what, twice this year, aren't we? Twice. Twice. Yeah. And one day of the Classic. And one day of Classic. So you guys look forward to those videos when they come out. You saw I got my hand, my ass handed to me on my last uh, time I was in the big just now. I didn't catch nothing, but it was still fun. <laughs> yeah, that's about pretty much wraps it up. Like I said earlier, it wasn't such a big uh, expo, but I, I, you know what to tell you, what I like about it though, I actually liked it because it seemed more small. It was definitely smaller, but it was more like a family attitude for a family atmosphere in there. I thought it was pretty good. I actually liked that little, that little yeah, expo. Good. Everybody seemed like they knew each other. Plenty so, of time uh, to catch up with people yeah it was more like a, it was more like a social gathering than, than actually an expo so it was really cool so i'll go ahead and, uh, and get this video out and get all kinds of get it all edited up and um i'll have some more information about all the vendors we saw today and look out for that uh that giveaway that's going to happen here shortly so without further ado this is scott favors me scott hollywood outdoors and that's a wrap